Again, I'm sincerely Mrs. Mommy.com, a mom lifestyle blog dedicated to sharing tips, advice, and inspiration for and by the modern mom. Today is day three of our daily prayer vlog for 30 days for the month of June. And I have another prayer request that I received um, in my inbox from a friend. And she basically was saying, please stand in agreement with us um, for no more lack. We are drowning. And it's definitely one of those universal prayer requests that a lot of people can relate to. Um, if you are a single mom and you're on one income, you may or may not be getting child support, so things are tight. Um, you may be a stay-at-home mom by choice or not by choice, and you have to be mindful of what you're spending. Um, you could also be a working mom and have a second income, and still um, things are tight. It just seems like the bills are just growing and as the kids grow they need more things and medical bills happen and just all kinds of things unexpected things happen and that just kind of like clench your wallet and <laughs> so um, that's definitely a prayer that we can all relate to and I want to um, reference a scripture that comes to my mind I came across it a few years ago and even though I don't know it by heart the essence of it still stays with me so I want to share it with you and then we'll get into the prayer and that is Luke 12 and the section is um, chapter verse 22 through 34 but I'm just gonna say a couple of scriptures in there to highlight so Luke 12 verse 24 through 26 consider the ravens they do not sow or reap they have no storeroom or barn yet god feeds them and how much more valuable are you than birds who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life since you cannot do this very little thing why do you worry about the rest and then verse 29 and do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. For the pagan world runs after all such things. And your, fa and your father knows that you need them. And your father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom and these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Do not be afraid. So, in all of that, the birds, the animals... They are out and about doing their thing, living their best life, and yet they don't worry about where food is going to come from. I mean, we can't read their minds, but I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure they're not worried about, you know, am I going to get a paycheck to pay for these groceries? Am I going to have a home for my kids? Like, you know, they find a way to make a nest. They find a way to, you know, birth their children where they need to, um, and Sometimes we can get so caught up in what it has to look like in order for us to have needs met. So we may think like, oh, I don't have enough money in the bank, so I'm not going to be able to take care of these things. Like, it doesn't always have to come from money. It could come from an anonymous person. It could come from a family. It could come from a friend. It could come from a bonus check. It can, um, it can come from um, an unexpected check in the mail or a refund that you got that you wasn't expecting. It could come in many different ways. So... What I want to challenge you is to not look so much at your bank account and what you have um, monetarily, but take a look at, you know, the fact that God knows what you need before you need it. He's already ahead of the game. He already knows what you need. And so if we try not to worry, and like Steve Harvey said yesterday, there is no try, you just got to do don't worry. <laughs> Start speaking things as though they were. Speak it into existence. Like, I have enough. I have provision. I have enough food. I have the clothes that I need. I, this bill is going to be taken care of or it's going to be wiped. Like, start speaking the things um, that you want to see happen and not focus so much on, well, I don't have this. Just start speaking like, somebody's going to bless me. I'm going to get a refund. However it's going to happen, it's going to happen for me. So let's go ahead and get into the prayer and then tune in for tomorrow, for day four. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, Lord God, that you 
see us and you know what we need before we need it. You are already ahead of the game with us, Lord God. So I just thank you in advance, Lord God, for blessing my sister and blessings um, other sisters out there who are in need, Lord God, who are worried about like how is this, how is this thing going to work out? I have no idea because my bank account says zero or 20 cents and I've got like a thousand dollars worth of things that need to be taken care of. I pray, Lord God, that you would give us the confidence and that you would give us the peace that we need to trust you and trust that you have it taken care of and that when we ask, you will provide in the best way that we need it, Lord God. You're already there. And even if the timing seems off, like, well, I'm already late and they're going to cut off my lights. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. They're going to evict me. You are already there. You already have it all worked out. You already have it worked out. So give us the faith to believe that it's taken care of, that we are secure, that we are safe, and that um, we've got what we need ahead of time. Bring the people, Lord God, the unexpected people who we think can't help us or might not be able to help us. If there's somebody that we know that we could reach out to, give us the boldness to request the help because sometimes their help is there for us, but we don't want to ask because of pride or we are afraid. But Lord God, give us the boldness and the courage to speak up and to say, hey, I need some help. Can someone help me? Um, and to be receptive to receiving um, that help when it comes, even if it comes unexpectedly. Thank you, Lord God, for covering us. Thank you for providing again. Thank you for being there for us, and thank you for being our God. In your name I pray, amen. All right, so that's it for today. Tune in tomorrow for day four. Um, I don't have a prayer request yet in my inbox, but I'm sure I can come up with something to pray for. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Sincerely Mrs. Mommy. Like and subscribe to the channel. Look out for the playlist. There's a playlist for the 30 days um, prayers for moms. So you can go back if you're catching up on, you know, you're at day 27 <laughs> and you want to get back and see like all the other days, check out the playlist in my channel and it will all be there. Thank you guys so much and be blessed.